Good morning, welcome back to Breaking Bricks. I'm your host, Neil. You know, I did state a couple days ago, even though I posted the final, that we were not done with the Defender Base Lothal. We are going to take it out of the house. Here's the challenge. The whole goal of this build was to be able to take it apart and move it someplace else. And to me, this is the most stressful part of all of it. Moving it, putting it in a car, transporting it across miles and then putting it back together again. The question is, is, will it survive? God, I hope so because that's what makes it stressful. All of us have had to try to transport Lego in one shape, manner, or form. Some of us have gotten really good at it. Some of us are just learning how to do it like me. Um, so, you know, as I take my baby steps into this world, this is my second outing, okay? First one was Bader's Castle. We had great success with it, thus why we're taking this one out of the house. So, without further ado, it is time to try to get this from this room into Cleveland. So the next time I turn on that camera, we will be in Cleveland, and hopefully I'll be putting it together, and we will find out what happened to this build. My friends, we finally made it to the IEX Center. As you can see, Mike's working on changing the batteries out for me. We've gotten a lot done so far. We've started to reassemble the build, and thank God it made it here. And we're going to continue trying to get this thing together. we still got a lot more to work on. So, yeah, hey, stick with us. You might as well. Saturday morning, we are at Brickfest, doors are just open, we got the build set up and ready to go, people are starting to look at it. You know, we did have a small incident yesterday. The Defender yes. broke. Um, the piece snapped in it, I had to take it home last night, rebuild it, reconfigure it from scratch and get it back in play here this morning. That was the only scare. You know, what good is a Defender based on the thaw without a Defender? So I'm glad to have that piece back, and we are just going to be talking to all kinds of people today. We also got Slim Bone from Slim Bone's LEGO Star Wars channel coming down to hang out with me. So you parked in the front and walked in through the front entrance of the IX Center, correct? Yes, I did. All right, so what did you expect to see when you first walked in here? Um, I really didn't have a whole lot of expectations. I was a little surprised to see that there was more than one builder this this visit 
You know they paid me 20 bucks to help them put this alien on the table. <laughs> yeah. Well, I paid for lunch, so I can't complain. Who wouldn't? Right? Ooh, look at the Pegasus. He's it's pretty. So pretty. They did a good job. Oh, yeah, the coloring in these statues that they build is pretty good. I oh, can never oh. do anything like that. Oh, there's Sharon getting her three seconds of fame right in. Hi, Sharon. Look at all the little kids. Yeah, this was before the rush started. I'm glad to see they had a lot of little kid-themed things to kind of keep them busy. This is one of the few brick events that actually does. This is a newer one, and it's actually kind of interesting. That witch is kind of ugly. Yeah, I've seen her at <laughs> every one I've been to so far. There's no doubt about that. It's interesting seeing her without a head. Yes, that was. Oh, it's Woody. It's Woody. Sporting a Woody. It's Woody. Whoever did that one did actually a really good job on it. You know, the first time I went to this, you could actually stand next to it and take your picture with it, but they don't let you do that anymore. I like the little serpent thingy. Oh, yeah, this that thing is just an awesome build. All that coloring and... Yeah, they did a great job on that. This is a little small. I think it would have been better if it would have been huge. Yeah, more life-size. Correct, yeah. And a bunch of little children or rats behind it. Now, I'd hate to meet this in a dark alley one. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dude, give me your lunch money. Here, man, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the detailed work of the, the shadowing on him. It almost looks like he's got a hairy chest. Yeah. And the axe is pretty cool, too. Now, the little rocks I disagree with. <laughs> I thought it was like... Flat. I thought it was maybe like poop. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> All right, my buddy's here at the 501st Garrison. They were pretty cool. What's up, dudes? And finally, finally, to my table. Right next to the 501st. You guys got that put together pretty quick. It took us about four hours to put it together. Mike spent about an hour and a half redoing grass which was interesting because he swore at me the whole time afterwards. Ah, no more grass. Bah, bah, bah. It was not fun to transport. No, three cars it took to get it here. <laughs> we almost lost one of the nine sections. Oh, yeah, because I almost dropped one. Yeah, we did lose the tie defender once, but I was able to get it back together. But we did come up with an interesting concept if you couldn't though. Yeah, I did come up with a plan B. Like in the video game, I was going to put all the parts around there and make it look like they were building it. And I was going to put it together halfway, and then, but I managed to get it all completed before. You guys had quite a bit of a crowd off and on. Yeah, it, it definitely stayed off and on pretty busy. And it definitely, they do it in waves, so they keep it from being super crowded at the same time. Especially like right after, like right about lunch time, the lunch hour around like one. It got pretty, the line was like almost out the door of people coming in. Yeah. All the people taking pictures. Oh, a lot of people took pictures. He took pictures with me. With the build. People definitely liked the games that you guys had. That's oh, for yeah. sure. Once again, there was 41,238 bricks in this build. I love how people got obsessed with the, the guessing game. They just wanted to keep going. Yeah. All in fun. And of course, you know this helps bring awareness to the channel. Oh, there's Mike. Doing his thing. There's Jojo. You know, I did scare a few people with the guns. That that was funny. So they'd start seeing it move and they they what? Did it move? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I had a total of five motors in this build, 201 minifigures, 17 vehicles. I did do an interview with a couple of the LEGO builders, as well as the 501st, but my dumbass lost the footage. Yeah, you did. It happens. I'll, do, I'll get a chance to do it again. All the little kids. Whoa, look at that. Now I did get asked what I was planning on building next. And of course, that will be next week. I like, this is really cool with the little kid. He was just all like, oh my god. Oh yeah. He was so happy he got to play with it. That's how you inspire future engineers and builders. Those are the people that are going to be building and running our world in 20, 30 years. <laughs> That group was obsessed over the game. Well, some people like to play. Some big old moms don't know how to quit. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, they just going to keep going. Well, my friends, we're finally home. The build's in the house. It doesn't look quite like it did when it left, but hey. What can we say? We're about to start something new. And that announcement video will be next week. Of course, we'll be doing the raffle draw ticket next week as well. Um, but, you know, one of the biggest questions that everybody asked me all weekend long was, how many bricks was in Defender Base of Lothal? And here it is, the big magic number for you. You ready? 41,238 bricks. 201 minifigures, 17 vehicles. That's what consisted of this base. I loved putting it together. I put a lot of time and love into it. We had a lot of friends come out and hang out. Of course, we got to hang out and do a lot of different things. The statues were pretty cool, but there's only so much of that you can look at. And of course, you know, I had a mistake. You know, it wasn't all fun and pickles. You know, we did lose the Defender. We got it back. We almost lost a section of this build, carrying it out and packing it in the car in the first place. You know, so you got a lot of little factors going in from the beginning to the end. But it's all over now. <laughs> we're finally home and we're at our end. You know, we couldn't have done it. I really couldn't have done it without help from my wife who handles our editing here at Breaking Bricks. So I want to send you a thank you for giving us a hand. Also, you know, I couldn't do these live events without Mike. You know, I'm glad he's part of the team. You know, I, I, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am to have him here with us. And of course, you know, I want to thank all my new subscribers that are now part of the Breaking Bricks family, you know, because we can't grow here as a channel without that happening. And with that being said, let's just get into the spiel here. If you liked what you saw this week, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You know, it lets me know I'm doing a good job and it helps the algorithm out. You know, if you got a good idea about what might be coming in this next season, this next build season, you know, I've got clues here. You never know where they're going to pop up. Put that down in the comments below and I'll respond back as soon as I possibly can. And once again, we cannot grow here as a family without you hitting that subscribe button. It takes you a hair, half a second, but mean it means an awful lot. Now, I will see you next week as we announce what our next build season is going to be. Peace.